Basho, we continue with Basho's uh, verses, introduction, and the narrow road to the sound off. Yeah, sound off. So they can make noise to say the noise in us. Yeah, no. The noise. Ah, uh, I suppose if I turn it down and turn it up, that's fine. <laughs> the noise. Yeah, the noise, because it's coming all the time when I get a phone breakdown. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So looking at Basho, Basho is gonna we're gonna read continue. This is part uh, three of the introduction. Hmm. So we're moving along at the speed of light. <laughs> Basho was born in the city of Uno in the province of Iga, now a part of New Prefecture in 1644, his father, Yosemon, was a minor samurai in the service of the Kudo family and had ruled the city for a number of generations. Basho had two elder brothers and one elder and three younger sisters. Finally, his family was not particularly favored. And financially, his family was not particularly favored. His father is said to have supported the family by teaching, writing to the children of the vicinity. Basho was called Kinsakuku in childhood and Tashikuro or sometimes Juimon after his coming of age. In In 1653, when Basho was only uh, nine uh, years old, he entered the service of the Kudo family officially as a page, but in reality more as a study mate to the young heir. Interesting, he studied Yo Yoshida Tada, who was older than Basho by only two years. This began their relatively short but extremely warm friendship. In 1655, Basho's father died. Born with a delicate constitution, Yoshitada took more than a took more to the acquisition of literary accomplishments than to the practice of military arts. That's Basho's childhood companion. He and Basho studied the art of blink verse under the guidance of Higan, 1624-1705, one of the ablest disciples of Teitoku. Yoshitada must have been a fairly good poet himself. For he was given the pen name Sengen, which had one character in common with his teacher's pen name. Basho's pen name in those days was Sobo. Following two poems, o o Haiku, of his, published in 1664, in the anthology named Ya Sayono Naka Yamasu are the earliest records. Poem. The moon is the guide. Come this way to my house. So saying, invites the host of a wayside inn. The leafless cherry, old as a toothless woman, blooms and flowers, mindful of its youth. 
Beetle to say one can detect a heavy influence of the deliberate style of Toku in these poems. In 1665, Fenden, together with his fellow poets, composed a chain of linked verse consisting of 100 pieces to commemorate the 30th anniversary of Itoku's death. Basho contributed 17 poems, but they were written in a style quite similar to that of the poems quoted above. In 1666, Sundin died at the age of 25. His early and sudden death must have given Basho a tremendous shock, for upon returning from Koyasan, where he enshrined the mortuary tablet of Sendin by the order of the bereaved father, Basho asked for permission to resign from his service. The permission denied, he ran away to Kyoto. The exact manner in which Basho spent the next five years in Kyoto is unknown. It is generally believed, however, that many of his making his abode at the Kenhukuji Temple, he studied Japanese classics under Kijin, Chinese classics under Ito Tanen, and calligraphy under Kitamuki Unjitsu. One can detect an error of Greater freedom in the poems of Basho wrote during this stay in Kyoto. For example, poems. Unable to meet at their annual rendezvous, the two stars fret in the fretful sky of July. Kokish, kokwe, kokwetish, squish clovers stretched out on the ground, ill-mannered just as much as they are beautiful. The sharp, crying cuckoo seems to have died with the blood of his mouth these azaleas on the rock. The episode uh, with Jitanini is also believed to be an event of those years. Historically, however, there is nothing known about this woman except that she was the mistress of Basho in his youthful days. In any case, the five years in Kyoto must have been very fruitful and yet in many ways stormy ones for Basho. In uh, 1671, Basho returned to his native place, and in the spring of the following year, he presented to the Tennan Shrine of Ino City the first anthology of his own editing, named K.O. It was a collection of haiku coupled in pairs, and each pair compared, judged, and criticized by Basho, for example, since he did his own critique. Is that what I just read? Time, poem, time and time again, nipped by a sickle with a click, click. beautiful, beautiful cherry. Come and take a look at this tapestry of cherries. Tapestry-coated old man, my friend, Jinbi. The first poem by Rosetu is excellent in that it praises the cherry tree by saying, time and time again. A bit of this kind is certainly a model for all composition. The second poem by my 
by myself try to communicate the idea that Jinbi's rich coat will lose its color if he comes to see the cherry. It must be admitted, however, that this poem is weak not only in structure but also in diction and that gives real beauty, also in diction that gives real beauty to the poem. Let me condemn my poem, therefore, by saying that Jinbi's soft hair was no match for the sharp white of the sickle. It is possible, of course, to suspect that this judgment was formed by Basho. Out of the modesty which was so characteristic of him. But at the same time, no one will fail to observe that this anthology was the work of a very ambitious man. So in 1672, after a short stay of several months in his native place, Basho left for Edo, Tokyo city, which is thriving as the seat of the Tokukawa government. His firm, his firm determination at the time of departure is expressed by the poem he left behind. Home, separated we shall be forever, my friend, like the wild geese lost in the clouds. Now, unlike Kyoto, Edo was a relatively young, growing city, and there was a great deal of activity and freedom in the air. For the first few years, at least, Basho seems to have found it difficult to decide what he really wanted to be. He stayed with friends and admirers and engaged in work of a miscellaneous character. Even though, through those years of groping, however, Basho seems to have gained an increasing firm footing in the poetic circles of Edo. For in 1675, when Soin came from Osaka, Basho was among the poets who were invited to compose the link verse with him. The encounter with Soin must have been an epic-making event for Basho, for upon this occasion he changed his pen name from Sobo to Tosei. Best deep respect for Soan, as well as his marked influence, can be felt in the link verse he composed in the year after. Home. Under this plum tree, even a black bull will learn to sing a song of spring, filled with cheerful joy, coming as it is from a human throat. The song is better than the frog's chorus. Quietly, fancifully sprinkled upon this world, puny rains of spring. In the field, young shoots float in pools muddy as bean paste mixed with vinegar. Page 24. I'm afraid we've run out of time. There we are. And uh, that's the part three of Basho Narrow Road to the Deep North, Introduction. Hmm. Very good.